Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of conics. And particularly this question that we are taking is from the topic of ellipse and hyperbola. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that an equation of ellipse is given to us, which is x square over a square plus y square over b square equals to one with a condition that tells us A has to be greater than B. And the question tells us eccentricity of its ellipse is one over root two. And length of lattice rectum that is given to us as square root of 14. The question asks us to figure out what is the square of eccentricity of x square over a square minus y square over b square equals one. So we have to basically find the eccentricity of this hyperbola and then we have to find the square of it. That's the question asked to us. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are three, seven over two, three over two. And the last answer choice that we have been given here is five over two. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's see how to solve this question. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you and also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in the best way then let's talk about the solution for this question now so i have been given this ellipse equation so once i have been given this ellipse equation which is x square over a square plus y square over b square equals one and the question is telling me a is greater than b i know eccentricity of ellipse it's given by square root of 1 minus b square over a square when your condition is a greater than b. So length of semi-major axis over horizontal axis is greater than your length of semi-minor axis that is over the vertical axis. So if I use that idea, eccentricity of ellipse is given to me in the question. The question tells us it's nothing but 1 over root 2. So if I put that here, square root of 1 minus b square over a square so from here, I can get one condition. Let's talk about this. So if I square both sides, what I get here is 1 over 2 equals 1 minus b over a, the whole square. So from here, I get b over a, the whole square equals 1 minus half. And 1 minus half is basically half. So if I find this, I got b over a, the whole square, as 1 over 2. And if I take the square root on both sides, I get b over a, it's 1 over square root of 2. So I get this idea now. Once I have got b over a with me, let's try to further use the other idea. So from here I get a is nothing but b root 2. So once I have a as b root 2, the further question tells us length of lattice rectum is square root of 14. Let's use that. So length of lattice rectum is square root of 14. And length of lattice rectum for the ellipse is given by 2b square over a. So 2b square over a is root 14. So if I use that idea further, I get root 14 is nothing but 2b square over a in this case is b root 2. So from here, if I try to cancel, I can cancel 1b and 2 over root 2, I can write that as cancelled. And so I get root 14 equals root 2 into b. So from here, I get Squaring both the sides, 2b square is 14. And from here, I get b square is 7. Once I have b square with me, let's try to figure out the other idea. I know b over a the whole square is half. So once I have b square with me, if I try to figure out a square, we know b over a the whole square is 1 over 2. 
So b square over a square. So b square we know it is seven. So seven over a square equals half. So from here I get a square is fourteen. Now once I have a square and b square both with me, the question is asking us to figure out what square of the eccentricity of hyperbola with the same conditions. So I get my equation of hyperbola using a square and b square as x square over a square so 14 minus y square over b square so 7 equals 1 now once i have that comparing i have a square i have b square so i will just use the idea of eccentricity of hyperbola that square root of 1 plus b square over a square and that is 1 plus 7 over 14 7 once 7 two times square root of 1 plus half becomes square root of 3 over 2 so the question is asking me to figure out square of the eccentricity of hyperbola. So I will square both the sides. So square root of 3 over 2, the whole square. So square and square root gets cancelled and you get 3 over 2 as the answer. So if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, the option is C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of using the eccentricities of ellipse and hyperbola. So you just have to use the eccentricity of ellipse when A is greater than B and the length of lattice rectum was also given. So we use that idea to find A square and B square. Once I got A square and B square, I got my new equation of hyperbola and from there I can easily find eccentricity of hyperbola and after squaring it, I got the answer as 3 over 2 which matches with option C. So C becomes a correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying this videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well. And do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.